Good morning everybody and welcome back to the South Prepare channel and today we're going to be taking a tour of the Carnival Glory. We'll be back right after this. This is the Carnival Glory. Now when you first enter the ship on embarkation day, you're going to come across the Grand Atrium. The Grand Atrium is kind of a hub for the whole ship. Here you'll find entertainment throughout the day and live bands nightly, as well as a great bar for you to get some drinks. On the starboard side of the atrium, you'll find guest services. Now here's a tip for guest services. If you can avoid going to guest services on the first or last day of the cruise, you'll find the line a lot shorter. Also, if you're platinum, diamond, or faster to the fun, you also get a special line as well. What is the name of the Kanto character in the Disney film, Beauty and the Beast? Right now they're doing trivia. Today is the last sea day of our crew. Yes, On the port side, you'll find the shore excursion desk. So if you don't want to just get off the ship and walk around on your own, you can take a local shore excursion, which is a guided tour. And you'll also find some computers in case you have to use the internet while you're on board. Or print uh, flight tickets for flight home, etc. In the front area of the ship, or forward, you will find the Amber Lounge. This is the main show lounge for the theater. This is where during the day they will show movies and entertainment, and at night it comes alive with your Vegas style shows. Right now they're doing Cow Animal Theater for the kids. Oh, okay, well, who's next? Okay, so here's all my stuff. Oh, thanks, Ribbit. You can put that stuff off stage. You have a cameo to do. Right. Thanks. Thanks, honey. Oh, Toons. Perfect. You can be up next to show us your fun. Oh, gee. I don't know if I can. I mean, I'm not sure if anyone will be interested in that. And the reason why you see these guys in here is they are giving cow animal demonstrations in here as well. If you traveled on board Carnival, you'll know that in your stateroom each and every night, you will find cow animals that your stateroom steward will put there. And today they're teaching the kids and parents how to fold those towels at home for more fun after their cruise. And your question is... Now for those of you who want to know the gear that I'm using, because I always seem to get that question, today I did not pull out the big DJI Ronin. First name. Instead I'm using the DJI Osmo, which is a three-axis gimbal. Hopefully it will keep uh, the video somewhat stable and not so shaky. Okay, here we're going to find our forward dining room. Now this dining room right now is being used for Dr. Seuss at Sea, which is a great kids event they do here. In the evening, this is the main dining room for your time dining. So if you're doing your time dining, this will be the dining room that you'll be using. And right now they're doing Dr. Seuss lunch for the kids. And it is a free character lunch where the characters come out and visit your table. You can also take photographs with the Dr. Seuss camera, or Dr. Seuss uh, characters. And I think it's just about over, which is why there's not many characters left in here. We will go out the back door up here. Now, the reason you can't go straight through the decks here is because right on the other side of this wall, you're going to find the main galley, which is located between the forward and aft dining rooms. So we're going to use a little movie magic to go right through this wall. Wow, we actually go up and over. Wow, that was like magic going right through the galley. And 
back onto deck three for the platinum restaurant. Now, if you have early or late dining on board, this is the restaurant you'll be going to. Right now, they are serving sea day brunch. And this is a two level dining room, as you can see, with great views and fantastic food. And if you're lucky enough to get the table by the window, the views you will have every day are absolutely fantastic. Now here's a tip, even if you don't have a window view for your dinner, you can always request a dinner view when you're at a sea day brunch. We will show you the upstairs of this lounge when we get to the next deck. As a matter of fact, since we already have stairs here, this is deck three. We'll just go up and do the next deck backwards from the back of the ship to the front of the ship. And there is seating up here. Normally during brunch, this isn't utilized because there's plenty of seats downstairs. But for dinner in the dining room, it's always used. Now the dining room for lunch, you can't come in a bathing suit, but you can come casual. Just shorts and a sleeved t-shirt is fine for brunch. Now for the evening, it's really a little more upscale. Generally I tell people just business casual is fine. Even a pair of jeans with like a polo shirt will work. With the exception of formal night. On formal night, you can certainly still wear the jeans and a polo shirt, but I think you're gonna stand out a little bit. It's more genuinely acceptable for formal night to eat in this room, as opposed to the buffet, which I'll be showing you a little bit of in a few minutes. You tend to wanna to get dressed up. At least, gentlemen, you're gonna wear a sports jacket and a pair of slacks, and ladies, either a pair of slacks or a nice dress. Now these doors are closed because they're not utilizing the upstairs right now. One thing about cruise lines is they never actually lock any doors. So you can get up and if you want to see me, that is the Osmo that I am using today. And as you can see, the camera stays somewhat straight as I move it around, which makes your footsteps not show so much. This is the Ivory Club. Each night they have live music in here. And of course it is free, this entertainment. And the music is absolutely fantastic. We've uh, enjoyed it almost every night of the cruise on this cruise. <clears throat> and as you can see, a lot of people ask, you know, are cruise ships crowded? And granted, on the very first day of your cruise, when you first board the ship, if you get on early, everybody takes their luggage because your rooms aren't ready yet and goes directly to the Lido deck for lunch. And during that particular day, yes, the ship is very crowded because you have the whole ship pretty much in the atrium and up on the Lido deck. And there's not really much going on for the first few hours. But you'll find that after dinner on the first day, the ship really spreads out and there's really not a lot of people. This is the green room. So if you're having a group on board and you need to have a seminar and you want some group spaces, the green room is probably what you'll be using. It's almost a conference room at sea. And for those of you who don't know, I actually specialize in group travel. In fact, mostly large group travel. I am one of the only people out there that do full conventions at sea. So if you want to host a convention for your particular industry and even make some money and get a free cruise out of it, give me a call. My phone number is 330-968-4300. And I do answer literally 24 hours a day, even while I'm on board here on the cruise ship. If you do get my voicemail, it's typically because I am making a video and for that I go offline because it's just much easier without the phone ringing. Now we are back in the front dining room on the balcony level. 
And as you can see, the Dr. Seuss breakfast is still going on downstairs. I didn't pick up a little tickle in my throat on this cruise. Not bad, but it's enough to make me have to clear my throat a little bit. Sometimes that will happen, you know, going hot to cold, hot to cold from different uh, environments since I live in Cleveland, which is always cold even when it's hot. This is Circle C. This is the age 12 to 14 area on the cruise ship. Lots of things for the kids to do here on board. So on this level, deck four is where you will find your photographs. Throughout the voyage, pretty much everywhere you go, you will see ship photographers offering to take your photo. And then you can come during the day to this area and pick the photos out that you would like to purchase to take home. There is no obligation to purchase any photos, so when you see the ship photographer, feel free to take as many photographs as you like, and you can look through them, see how they came out, and if you don't purchase them, you just put them inside of one of these bins right here. Hey, <laughs> lots of people know me on board. And then here, in the forward area of the Atlantic Deck, Deck 4, if we go around the stairwell, I guess I could have gone straight. This is where you will find the balcony area of the main show lounge. And again, they're doing cow animal theater in here right now for the kids. But this is the second, this is the first balcony level. There's also a balcony level upstairs on deck five, the promenade deck as well. Hey, Mark! Oh, well, thank you. I couldn't have done it without you, my tumble dry friends. And all of you, of course. Now that, my friend, again, at night, this turns into the main deck. show well, lounge where they have stopped. Broadway-style so shows almost every night of the cruise. Uh, and, of course, they are also 100% included in your cruise fare. Okay, so let's go up to deck five, which will be the promenade level of the cruise ship. And this is where you're gonna find most of your entertainment on board with that are not organized entertainment, such as the theaters and the comedians and things of that nature. And as you can tell by the sign ahead, there's lots of things to do on this floor. So we'll take it slow and give you a, a great opportunity to see what's here. So we're going to first start on the port side and around the atrium, and this is the same on most ships, you will find your shops. Shopping is always fun on a cruise ship because you can buy things here without paying any tax on them that they impose in the United States, especially on liquor and cigarettes. Because if you purchase those in the U.S., you know that there are so many taxes even beyond the sales tax, just taxes that the government imposes on the people that make them, that they impose at the register. All signs of sorts, all kinds of good things. Bought my wife four bottles of a giant Bacardi. She forbid me to buy her even one since we already have so many of them. And then to the store you'll find Carnival logo where lots of great deals on carnival related items. Watch my videos. I bought a few hats I'll be giving away as well as a couple of these t-shirts as well over the next few months. And then most ships have a secondary area where they sell other items, things you might have forgotten to pack you can pick up here that are usually not carnival logo related. Just some different brands that you know and love from home that again you can buy here on the cruise ship tax and duty free and they also have tables set up a lot of them set up inside and outside where you'll find special deals such as watch and gift sets here 
two for thirty dollars and they're actually pretty high quality for the price that you're paying This is the Skybox. This is one of the few areas where you can actually watch live TV on Carnival. Carnival has pretty much done away with live network television in your stateroom. But if you're a sports fan, you can always come into the Skybox and watch your favorite sports teams. And if something is happening while you're on board your cruise, like the Super Bowl or a live race, even if it's a pay-per-view, the cruise ship will normally purchase it and play it here in the Skybox, as well as you'll also find live TV at the casino bar on most ships. So one thing I want you to take away from this, especially the first time cruisers, I get a lot of people that think being on a cruise you're going to be stuck on a little boat. And if you take anything away from this video, take away that this is definitely not a little boat. This is cherry on top. This is where you'll buy your candy on board. If you have someone special in your life, you can buy them flowers. And if you really want to treat the person who works here, buy them flowers. I did on my cruise and I think she really enjoyed them. Yes, I did. Thank you so much. <laughs> and lots of candy. This is one of the smaller cherry on tops on board the cruise ship, but it definitely still has lots to choose from. Now, I believe on this ship, if you ordered a tuxedo, you can pick it up here, correct? So, if you go to carnival.com, if you need a tux for formal night, or you want to celebrate by ordering a special cake, and I got to tell you, these cakes are unbelievable. The uh, head executive chef on board the cruise ship bought my son not one, but three of these cakes for our voyage for his birthday. Um, and the cakes are absolutely phenomenal. They're fresh, they're juicy, I mean, they're just really, really moist and, and Lots of good stuff come from cake, so. This is cherry on top. Thank you. The reason why everybody's gathered outside is you will always find during sea days special offerings from the shops. Like today, it is gold by the inch, where you can get great gold by the inch relatively inexpensively. And again, remember, you're not paying tax, <clears throat> which is a really good reason to buy things on board. And then all of the carnival ships also have fragrance areas where you can buy your fragrance. Again, you're gonna buy these tax and duty free if you buy them on board. Now, one thing that I do wanna let you know is when you come on board a cruise ship, you will see initially that the prices can appear to be actually more expensive than you will find them at home. And that is true until you realize you're not paying the tax on it. When you look at the tax, especially for a high ticket item, if you're looking for a diamond necklace or a diamond ring, or something of more expensive value, by the time you add up not paying tax, the value is really there. I am a YouTuber. What? You're a YouTuber. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> What's your channel? Sal Pater. Just, just uh, Google Carnival, you'll come right up. This is also where you'll find your watches on board. I'll be buying a watch later today. And lots of great jewelry. So for instance, the watch I'm purchasing here on board is gonna be the black one right there in the back. And on board, it's a little more expensive than I've seen it on shore. But by the time I take the tax option off um, and shipping, if you're purchasing them online, if you have to pay for shipping, uh, it really is a value. Plus you also get Carnival's guarantee. So over top of the warranty, if something goes wrong with your jewelry, you know you have Carnival Cruise Lines to stand behind that item to make sure that it will be fixed or replaced to your satisfaction. Let's walk a little further down past the shops. <laughs> and it's not normally this crowded right here. It's only crowded like this when they're doing an event sale like they are now with the Gold by the Inch, which is very popular on board a cruise ship. Now you'll have the casino. The casino almost always runs along the promenade of the ship, which is usually one giant hallway. Now it is morning, which is why you don't see dealers at every table. It's generally a little slower in the morning. But they have almost every game you can bet that's a, a normal 
game that you would find in most casinos from blackjack to roulette to craps and even some special games as well as well as all of your favorite no camera in here okay no camera in the casino so i'm going to have to leave and go outside the casino Now in the casino, smoking is allowed, as well as the casino bar as well, which is the bar that's open most of the time. And then the evening on almost every ship I've been on, in the evenings they have a live entertainment stage where they'll have steel drums or a live singer here on at the casino bar. Now while they do allow smoking on the casino, and at the casino bar, they don't allow cigars or pipes. There are special areas of the casino just for that. Nothing at this desk. This is the Carnival sign-up for the Carnival credit card, which I strongly actually recommend against getting. And I'll explain that in another video. Then you have another internet cafe. If you need to use the internet and you don't have your own device or you don't have your own laptop with you, you can use these computers if you purchase an internet plan. And there is a printer here as well, so if you need to print out like a flight boarding pass, you can certainly do that. A little busy today, but it's not normally that busy, is the coffee shop. This is like the Starbucks on board, where you'll find great coffees, both alcoholic and non-alcoholic, as well as lots of great pastry options. Now one thing that a lot of people don't know is that if you purchase the alcohol plan, all of your coffees are included. So whether it's an alcoholic coffee, coffee or a straight regular coffee, it's included in the price of the alcohol plan. So you're, you're welcome to come here and get a coffee 24 hours a day. Next we have Club O2. Club A2 is for ages 15 to 17. And it is locked right now because uh, they typically don't like people going in there since it is reserved for kids. But these kids, 15 to 17, literally have their own nightclub on board that comes alive at night. Of course, there is no alcoholic beverages served, but they do have their own DJ and their own nightclub. Carnival really has stepped up the game when it comes to entertainment for kids on board cruise ships. Hey! Is this for a video? Okay. <laughs> okay, here is where you're going to find the regular nightclub. Now, during the day they set, well, let's go in here first. This is the game room for kids. We'll show you the game room. Lots of games for the kids to play. Now the games are not free, you have to pay for them. However, if you're platinum or diamond on the VIFP club, your kids will get a stipend to play in the game room for free. It's not a lot, but it is a nice little perk of being loyal to the cruise line. I'm going to attempt to bring you into the nightclub. It's sealed off right now because they're getting ready to have the art auction at sea. If you're an art connoisseur throughout the cruise line, you'll be able to, to go to several art auctions. Not only will you get a get free drinks while you're in there, free champagne, but you'll also get a chance to bid on some great works of art. And in the evening, this becomes the nightclub. But I strongly recommend coming to one of the art auctions. Uh, it's it's really a chance to get a great painting at, at, a, at a really good price. There we so go. We'll come you. back in later when it's actually a nightclub and show you the nightclub. I had a feeling they were going to throw me out of there. And the reason why, and I completely understand why, is because they are works of art. Don't like them to be photographed. This is the Alchemy Bar. It is not open yet because as I said, it's still morning here on board the cruise ship, but the Alchemy Bar, I'll get some footage later and I'll try to edit it in here, right at this spot. This is a really cool bar. They actually wear chemist jackets to mix your drinks. And the drinks are things that you would just not expect on board a cruise ship. They are really, really good. It's more like mixology, things that you will find at a regular bar. This is the Piano Bar. Again, it's not open because 
it's still early in the morning but this comes alive every night with a live piano singer which sings all your favorite songs Billy Joel Elton John and they do a bartender in here as well for you to have a drink and that really comes alive and it's a lot of fun in the evening <clears throat> And more further towards the back, find a couple of more lounges. Again, they're not going to be in use right now, being daytime. So here you have the bar blue. And again at night, lots of entertainment in here, live entertainment. Singers, bands, and of course they have a bar for you to get drinks. Since we're in the bars, let's talk about the drink package. On Carnival, there are two different drink packages. There's a soda package, which gives you unlimited soda. Uh, and it's unlimited, truly unlimited, as much as you can drink. You do have to wait five minutes between each order. And then you also have the alcohol package, which is just shy of $60 per day at the time of recording this video. It's $60 per person, 21 or over, in your cabin. And anybody that's 21 or over must purchase it in order for anybody to purchase it. And that will give you 15 drinks of alcoholic type on board the cruise ship per day. And it will also give you the unlimited soda package, but it also includes other things like unlimited fresh fruit packages, fresh fruit drink packages, um, milkshakes if you're on a cruise ship that's got a ice cream and milkshake bar. It gives you the coffees and, and all of that good stuff as well. This is the rear show lounge, and this is where you'll find all your comedians on board at night. On the glory, this is the comedy club. If you recognize that backdrop, that's where we interviewed the comedian a few nights ago. And when they open that up, it's got a traditional brick background like you would find in most comedy clubs throughout the world. And this, I believe, is the Ebony Lounge. I'll double check that for you in a moment. Now we are on the back of the ship, the Ebony Cabaret, excuse me. That is deck five. Now on this tour, I'm taking you onto the common areas of the ship. We're not gonna stop at deck six, we're gonna go up past it. And the reason why deck six is passenger cabins, I'll give you just a quick view of what the uh, hallways look like in the massive size of the ship. When you look down the hall, you'll see that these ships are just phenomenally huge. This is the passenger hallway, and I'm quite sure that you cannot see the end of it <laughs> on this video. This ship runs about three football fields long, and from all the way at the bottom, from where the crew live and the engine room, to all the way to the top, it is almost 16, no, 18 stories high, excuse me. So it's literally like taking a skyscraper and laying it on its side. When I talk to new cruisers that are afraid to cruise, I always get excuses like, I'm going to be stuck on a small boat. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, and you? I'm well. Having a good cruise? Yes, yes. I saw you yesterday and I went and saw one of your videos and I saw the Sheridan in the background. Very cool. Uh-huh. Have a great day. So anyway, I get, I'm going to be stuck on a small boat, I'm seasick, etc. And I'm here to tell you, it's actually very rare. Most people that think they're seasick on here, it's just because they drank a little too much. Okay, we are on the Lido deck, deck nine. This is the aft pool. And it is a beautiful day at sea. This is where you will also find on the port side your 24-hour pizzeria. 24 hours a day you can order a pizza here or you can also order a pizza on the Fun Hub app which is free and you can have a pizza delivered anywhere on board the cruise ship for five bucks. You can have it delivered to your stateroom, you can have it delivered to poolside. One caution we learned recently is that if you have it delivered to the casino, if you're sitting in a slot machine, they will not allow you to eat it in there, so you'll have to leave the casino in order to eat it. 
This is the seafood shack. This is where you'll order fresh seafood. It is not included in the price of your ticket, but it is very reasonable. And I will tell you, they make the absolute best lobster rolls anywhere outside of Maine. So if you're interested in some fresh seafood, make sure you visit this man at the seafood shack. And I want a free lobster roll for that for plugging you later. <laughs> Inside, and you'll almost always find this midship or, or to the back of the ship, is going to be your buffet. I don't know what's open on the buffet today because we're at that weird hour right now where it's a little late for lunch, or a little late for breakfast, and a little bit early for dinner. We'll take a look at the buffet. And as you can see, they are preparing for lunch as we speak. There is an old-fashioned barbecue restaurant upstairs. We'll visit that shortly. And yes, both sides of the buffet right now are closed. Now, if you walk halfway up the porch, I want to introduce you to this man. Hello, I'm so sorry, I'm a little bit... That's worked. okay. Yeah, that's fine. One of the great maitre d's we have on board the cruise ship who's nice shown us an you. absolutely fantastic time during this whole trip. Yeah. Thank you Enjoy. very much. Have a lovely day. Now on the port side, halfway up between the buffet and the pool, and it looks like they are closed right now, this is your sushi shop. This is where you will get all of your sushi. They do stay open late at night, but I believe they don't open until lunchtime. Sushi is not included as your included uh, food on board the cruise ship. And I'll talk about what is included and what isn't included now, but your sushi is about $5 per roll and the rolls are actually really big, typically bigger than the rolls you'll get at a sushi restaurant back at home. So here's what's included for food. First of all, all of your buffet is included when it's open and it is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They close a little bit obviously to prepare for each meal. Your main dining room, for whether or not it's brunch during sea days or your dinners at night, is 100% included. But there are some restaurants that aren't included on board the cruise ship. As I said on here, the sushi restaurant is not included. The steakhouse upstairs is not included. This is the deli where you can get fresh deli sandwich. It is, is, is included in the price of your cruise. We're now traveling back on the starboard side of the ship. And one easy way to remember port and starboard is really simple. If you remember that if you're looking towards the front of the ship, port has four letters, left has four letters, and that's how you'll remember port and starboard. They are still serving breakfast here, and as you can see, they do have a wide variety of breakfast items available, always fresh, always hot. Let's see if we can sneak in here and grab a picture. Lots of great breakfast items available. And of course, no breakfast would be complete without a fresh omelet station. And of course, all of this is included in the price of your cruise. Hello. Hello. Here, we can get a little better view of breakfast. Good morning. Good morning. Here, here we go. Of course, you have fresh fruits. On the other side is more of a selection of fruits. One thing you will never go without on a cruise is food. There is food everywhere. I tell people that you can literally board a cruise ship and never spend a single dime and walk away having a fantastic time. This is your 24 hour swirls, ice cream all the time. They're not open yet, but we have the carnival version of Chipotle, the burrito station. And when they're open, you will see them making burritos. And here we enter the main pool area of the ship. We'll show you a little more of that in a moment. They are selling some t-shirts here. 
And I have to be honest, I don't see very many cruise line, cruise ships in the fleet selling things on the Lido deck as far as t-shirts. Now they're not open yet, but this is probably one of the most popular places to eat anywhere on board the cruise ship. Guy Fieri signed a contract with Carnival about five years ago, and they got rid of the old Sam's Club style burgers, and they started with Guy's Burger Joint. And I am here to tell you, if you've not had a burger from Guy's Burger Joint, you really need to try one. It is literally the most popular place to eat anywhere on board the cruise ship. They are absolutely fantastic. Even comes with a toppings bar, which has abundance of toppings. Everything from lettuce, tomato, onion, uh, caramelized onions, all kinds of good stuff. Now we're about to check out the pool. This is the Red Frog Rum Bar. All the ships in the fleet now have a Red Frog Rum Bar. Some of them have them on the pool deck, some of them have them on the promenade, which is a bigger indoor bar, and some of the ships have them on both. And over here you have the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar. If you forgot your towel in your stateroom, and your stateroom steward will always leave a couple of carnival towels, you can come here and rent one. They are free, unless you don't return them. If you don't return them, then carnival will bill you for the price of the towel. Of course, there are hot tubs all over the cruise ship. Now this ship is theater style, as you can see. So when they show the late night movies up on the Jumbotron, which are free movies, it is stadium style seat, so everybody has a good seat. We'll go upstairs in just a minute. Let's go back in here. And there is a carnival employee, always working to keep the ship in tip-top shape. Now we are back in the grand atrium. We're on the ninth floor. They are making spa appointments here on deck. And as you can see, go around the other side to get a better view. For those of you who really think these are gonna be small ships, not so much. Now I would take you back to the forward of the ship, which would, the main show theater would be right behind that wall, but we'd be one floor above where the theater ends. But there's nothing back there but passenger cabins. Hey! Hey! I found the duck. You did find one? Yeah. They didn't bring it to your cabin yet, because I don't think they've got it yet. No. Well, you're going to get a second one today. Oh. <laughs> For those of you who don't know what she was referring to, it is a new thing on Carnival. It's absolutely fantastic. A lot of passengers will bring rubber ducks on board um, and hide them on board the cruise ship for the kids to find. And the duck will have a piece of paper attached to it explaining what to do with the duck and how to post it on Facebook in the Ducks Facebook group. This is the spa on board. So ladies, if you're like my wife, this is the area you want to be in. Not so much for me, but I know a lot of my viewers really love the spa. So I'm going to take you on a, just a really quick walk around and show you the spa. And on this ship is the gym in the back? Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. So if you need a haircut, a hairstyle, or you just want to take a seminar, you come into the spa. And they have all the latest things, and as you can see, it's a hair salon, which is why it's not for me since I'm bald, if you haven't figured that part out. Is there a way to get to the gym without going through the men's room? 
Okay, I'm going to stop the video for a minute and I will restart it on the other side. Okay, we are restarting the video and the reason why I had to stop the video is to get to the gym you have to go through the locker room, which of course is going to have people changing. Um, there's a men's locker room and a women's locker room, obviously. But if you want to work out with a view, I mean you really can't beat the gym on board carnival. And it's not just working out on your own, which of course this area is free, but you can also take classes. There are spinning classes, there are losing weight classes. That is the classroom here on board and throughout the day they offer lots of classes on keeping healthy. is the gym and that's the thing I stay away from most often <laughs> but as you can see the towel animals there's always towel animals anywhere you'll find a towel on board carnival you will find their signature towel animals all right we are going to go back through the locker room so I am going to turn the video off for a second and I'll meet you on the other side okay welcome back now the areas you didn't see is not only can you get a haircut here they do offer massages skin therapy all kinds of, if it's for your health, you definitely want to visit the spa on board a carnival ship. Now here is a tip for you on board, is that if you're willing to come back early when you're in a port of call on a sea day, or if you just plan on staying on the ship on a sea day, you will get most of your spa treatments heavily, heavily discounted, literally as much as half off. So if, you, if you're into the spa and you want to come and you want, want to spend the prices that are associated with it, come during a sea day. And you don't have to spend your sea day early. One tip I give people is you're supposed to be back on board an hour early anyway to make sure you don't miss the ship. So as long as you're back, Early, make the spa appointment for an hour early and just come right on board and go directly to the spa. And then you don't have to worry about paying the, the super prices that the spa can sometimes cost. Here's another really popular area on board carnival ships, and I believe all carnival ships have them now. And it is the Serenity Adults Only Deck. And you can get a special Serenity towel. You can even take it home with you, but they will charge you for it if you don't bring it back. And as you can see, this is a much quieter area for adults only with special loungers. Just a nice area for you to relax by the sea and waste the day away. Most Serenity decks do have a bar. There's a bar for the Serenity deck. Some of the bigger ships have a much bigger bar like the Vista wind up here today, so I'm sure you're going to be able to hear that on the camera. And I believe on the other side of that is one of the other kids' clubs. But there's some really cool lounges up here. It's really not as windy as it probably sounds on the microphone. But heck, you can't beat the view. kids program on board carnival it was great when my kids were growing up on board and, and yes if you know my my history my kids pretty much grew up on board the cruise ship but even since those days I mean it's come just such a long way for the kids when you first drop your kids off at camp carnival it's going to be a little bit odd for them and you might have that's locked of course um, that is, I said no doors are locked on board Carnival. I will say that incorrectly. The kids' clubs, they do lock from the outside. The kids can always get out if they need to in case of an emergency. But they do lock it so no adults can get into the kids' club. 
without going through the main entrance, which is a great thing for the security and safety of your kids. But what I was saying was, when your kids first get on board, you may have a little uh, a little resistance from them from leaving them into the camp carnival areas. But I'm telling you, after they're in, you're going to have much more of a problem getting them to want to leave. So this is the Camp Ocean Activity Center. This is for the kids. They have their own children's area on board. We just can't have you filming the kids. Sorry. No problem. I will blur them out, I promise. And that's really a good thing. Kids security on board is paramount. See, we have one more deck to go. Now we are on deck 12, and the last deck up top would be deck 14. That's just an addition to the Serenity deck, so I think I'll skip that because. It basically looks exactly the same as the Serenity deck. Loose ping pong ball. Never quite understood ping pong on a cruise ship, but there you go, young man. Seems like it'd be very hard with the rocking of the ship. Another loose ping pong ball. And of course, up top you have the water slides. We'll be making a water slide video later in the day today. I have to admit, I haven't been on a water slide for probably about 30 years. So I'm actually kind of anxious about it. <laughs> in a bad way. And of course, if you love cruising, that is the site everybody would love. Just the pool deck with the red, white, and blue carnival fluke. You can see it's really not as busy as people think it would be plenty of open chairs on this ship i have yet to come up here and find chair hogs hogging all the chairs there's always been an abundance of open chairs for you to enjoy i'm going to take you up on the back of the ship to the higher decks because there's two more things that you might be interested in cargo ship off now if you can see it. The camera makes it look a lot further away than it really is. Hi everybody. <laughs> this is your sports area on board. This is where you'll have your basketball nets. They actually play soccer on board here. your walking track so if you're into fitness and you want to get your exercise in this is where you come of course no cruise would be complete without a shuffleboard area which has been a staple in the cruise industry I think since the love boat started it what you're hearing in the background is directly on the other side of this wall is the smokestacks that lead up to the big smokestack and the engine is straight down about 15 decks and that's what you're hearing this is the spile deck by the way deck 11 but hold on I'll wait till we get past here so you can actually hear me Keep in mind there are two deck 11s. There's one in the front of the ship and one in the back of the ship. You can't walk straight across from deck 11 to deck 11. So look at your map to see which side of the ship 
your event is going to be on. One thing that I didn't show you, there is upstairs, but around the fluke, there is a miniature golf area as well. And of course, that is also included in your ticket. This is deck 10, starboard side. This is the smoking area of the cruise ship. Now, if you smoke cigars like me, this is where you come because this is one of the only areas on the cruise ship that you can enjoy a fine cigar. But you certainly can't beat the atmosphere of smoking a cigar here when this is your view. Well guys, that is the Carnival Glory. Hope you've enjoyed watching this video. A little later tonight I'll be making a 360 tour of the Glory, so if you have a pair of uh, Oculus or virtual reality goggles, or you just want to be able to take your phone and look around in 360 degrees, that'll be the tour for you. And after that is up, it's probably, this video is probably going to go first, so it's probably not there right now, but after that video is up, if you click right above, I'll put a link to the 360 tour if you'd like to enjoy that one. So until then, guys, thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you on board your next cruise.